where we are once again. Philadelphia. <laughs> Take two, Philadelphia 2022 trip. It's become an annual thing, huh? <laughs> Taking a quick break from work. Coming to see our friend's husband. He's retiring, so we're coming to support him in his retirement party. Right now we're walking to go do another walk-in tour. Why do we like doing these walk-in tours? <laughs> because they're so educational. <laughs> First of all, we walk to get to the walk-in tour. Then you gotta walk on the tour. And then you gotta walk back and after you gotta the walk tour. <laughs> which is approximately 1.2 miles. It took us 30 minutes to get here. We're late. We're supposed to be at 1.45. It's 1.45. And we have one more block to go. Oh no. Maybe, yeah, I think it is. No, it starts at two. They said be out there by 145. Yeah, everybody said That's what we're touring, the Constitution Center. The Nazi the people. The Constitution Center. Just so I could be mad. That's why I do these tours. Just to make myself mad. And then what happened? People come pick up the pennies. These are the nine slaves that were enslaved by Washington and served at his house. Right, because they really wanted to make sure that they were telling an accurate portrayal of all things that are happening in Philadelphia at that time. And I think overall Philadelphia does a decent job. Congress Hall is built between 1787 and 1789. It's supposed to be the Philadelphia County Courthouse, but essentially the federal government moves here in 1790 and goes, ooh, brand new building, our next Independence Hall, we're gonna borrow that. And so that's where they'll put the U.S. Capitol, uh, U.S. Capitol building rather, where U.S. Congress. We call uh, America's birthplace really the heart of the historic district here in Philadelphia. We'll talk about the film history first. You might recognize this face from Nicolas Cage running across the roof, looking for Ben Franklin's bifocals. Um, I hate to announce though that he did not run across this roof. Uh, there's a two thirds scale replica. One of the things that I love about Philadelphia and a lot of reasons why I like doing the walk-in tours yeah, is just perfect. the amount of history that's in Philadelphia. And I think that they do such a good job telling the truth and depicting the history of America without it being watered down. So I really do appreciate that about Philadelphia. So right here is what we call the first bank of the United States, which as its name suggests, first centralized bank in the United States, but really where its true legacy lies is the fact that the first great constitutional I thought it was so funny that we got to tour and learn a little bit about the Quakers in Philadelphia. A lot of times people think that we are a Quaker just because of the amount of children we have, which is hilarious. If you're not familiar with Quakers, please take the time to look it up. Quakers who did then go on to kind of missionize in other countries, things like that. These folks were from here. Oh, Pat. Um, and that's why I say there's various sects of Quakerism today. Okay. Um, so it's really more, I would say, like, pure to their original roots of simplicity and just like, after worshiping. Right. Here, so it's Ben with his wife, Deborah, um, their daughter, Sarah, and Sarah's husband, and then Deborah and Ben's young son, Francis, who passed away when he was four, unfortunately, due to smallpox. The only immediate family member that is not buried here is his eldest son, William, who actually became a loyalist um, during the war. And so Ben excommunicates him, basically cuts him off from his social and financial connections. He ends up going back to England and then ends up in a prison and he dies before him and Ben uh, repair their relationship. So he's the only one not buried here. Kind of similar. You guys, learning about the LGBTQ plus community in the 60s was so fascinating. Oftentimes we think, oh, this is a new movement, but they have been fighting for their rights and equal opportunities since the early 60s, you guys. I think it's just that it's more... Um, 
um, they're louder and more aggressive, which they should be, because when you're fighting that long for rights and opportunities, of course, you're going to get more aggressive, you're going to get louder, and they should be because they deserve the same rights and the same type of opportunities as everyone else. So I just thought this was fascinating that they have been fighting for equal rights and equal opportunities since the beginning of time. So this is where the Declaration of Independence and Constitution was signed. And as I was looking at this room, all I could think is that it would be more than 100 years later before Africans got their freedom, if you even want to call it that. But over 100 years, you guys, it was just astonishing to me. This is the Supreme Court chamber, as well as where a lot of trials with the courts took place. And of course, you guys, all I could think about was how many black people were sentenced in this court unjustly. After the tour, you guys, we decided to treat ourselves to some ice cream. What better way to de-stress? And then Lonnie and I headed back to our hotel just to rest for a little while, collect ourselves, collect our thoughts. And then we headed up to the rooftop bar. The hotel we were staying at did have a rooftop bar. So we went up there, got a few drinks chilled out looked at the view you guys those walking tours can be so stressful and take a mental toll on you when you're just learning about all that is the history of the u.s and blacks and things like that and then we head down to the art um, festival that was taking place in philadelphia that weekend and just toured and looked at all the lovely art hey you got to so far away Another thing that I love about Philadelphia is the architect and the details in their building. It's so beautiful. The time and the details that they have taken to put into these structures is just breathtaking. Yeah, that is a nice. Where? Oh, it sure is. Yep. I think they're all black. It looks like this one, right? Yeah, this one. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Wow. Woo! Goodness, thank you. Thank you, Carla. Big problem. <laughs> 